Hey, head of the north. Just wanted to put a little video up. Progress on the charger. Got a little welding in the tops on this one to do. Cut the trunk all in. Rear body panel in. Left quarter on. And weld it up down below. Just got to do the tops of both sides. We're going to do the trunk, put the trunk lid on, then fit it. Take a little picture, uh, video from back farther. <clears throat> then we got the rear bumper cover and the trunk lid in the booth here. The trunk lid's in the back back there. Had to jam it to the back side of the trunk lid, then we're gonna bolt it on to fit it up good. There it is. And over here on the other side, still got that there to fit the doors up. Paint the one and put it on, but let's <clears throat> walk over here. Got the Dodge truck all I ended up doing the whole front bumper except for the left side so I can blend my color and then here I'm just gonna add color to it so I'm not doing a fender but then when I, after I paint it I'll unwrap the headlights and then clear them with it but I got my wheel arches all done and body work everything's done I just gotta paint it but um there's another wheel arch done um and i had this laying just to cover the brakes so i could lay up behind here and undercoat and do all that stuff behind there so it's 100 percent sealed then i'll uh get down and through here through the tail light through the front pocket then up underneath front and back of the wheel arch to wax it and undercoat it but I pulled the back wheels off. I'm starting to uh, sand and grind these down to get rid of the corrosion. There's the other back wheel. I just took some pictures of these, but I didn't post them anywhere yet. But I'm gonna. I'm not sure if I want to just give them another like brushed finished or if I want to polish them and then I took my little two inch roll locks and down in here see the corrosion they were corroded down in here so that actually fit once you start grinding it trims that wheel down a little bit and makes it fit in there better uh, the first one I used to do that I already threw away but <clears throat> debating on what I want, if I want to polish these or give them a brush nickel finish. But if I polish them, I'm going to have to uh, take my time and tape these off and cut them out with a knife all the way around and then do my silver. Of course, I'm painting the wheels. They have chips in and stuff I'm sanding out. But sure it's clean but yeah I was sanding them and then red scuffing them so what I do knits to it good and then I was thinking about put a piece of the red scotch bright then the gray on here down in that hole and just make them shine a little bit and then just lay something down in there to cover it so I can keep that surface shiny, you know, kind of go with this. But I was thinking of polishing these because it has the chrome steps on it, step bars. So I think that would look kind of good instead of having that factory. That's a factory brushed finish, clear coated. It's just kind of a machined finish they clear coat. And then, of course, you see the centers are already silver. 
and th this room isn't as bad, but it's still corroded around there. I want to clean it off. But I think if that surface is about half shiny like that, it'll look pretty good. But I don't know if you can see the machined from where I'm at standing. You can see the machine marks, but it gives it that satiny brush look kind of. But um, still debating whether to polish. Just one of them things. All right. Peace.